All right, guys, it's your boy Arj, and today, as you know, all of my 8,000 subscribers, followers will know that I'm running tutorial series for every single character for everyone to learn and uh, get better at the game. And today, we're going to be covering Dragonov. And as always, state is going to be st two stages to this. First stage is going to be me going over the key moves and the key techniques and the key um, strategy as well as key move properties of Dragonov that you can put into practice to just go in straight away after watching this video into online mode and start beating the crap out of people um, up to green ranks and yellow ranks and then after that for more advanced learning straight after this we're going to hand it over to Nobi uh, the best Dragonov in the world probably and most definitely in Japan and we're going to watch him in a competitive match um, facing off against Help Me and we're going to see him put to practice everything that I've showed you in a more um, sleek and competitive environment where you'll see everything I've shown you put into practice and used to the full uh, potential so let's just get right into it in stage one and we're gonna go over punishes so not talking too much about frames as I know a lot of new players are not very interested in that at the moment and it's not that essential we'll go over first of all his fastest punishes so 10 frames which are 1-2 as always he has 2-1 and his best one, I'd say, is 1-3. Uh, now, 1-3 is the best not only for damage, but also it has a number of extensions. You'll see a Nobi do a lot of these extensions. Not only has it got this grab extension, but it also has 1 plus, uh, has 1-3-1. One, one, and, and that can go carry on, as you can see, etc, etc, from the inputs. Now, moving on from there, uh, in terms of his key 12 frame um, frame Punisher will just be 4-1 uh, 12 frames very fast and allows you to just move straight into more pressure and etc in terms of whiff punishing and launches and, and other moves uh, that will get you a combo in terms of launches his best ones obviously 15 frames is generic down forward 2 nice launch easy etc um, then he also has his crouch dash Two very strong, very powerful launches, and is an elbow, so can't be parried. Then he also has a move which gives him a slight sidestep, which so is very good for whiff punishing, and also whiff punishing when you're there at an odd angle, and that is when to be using it, and that is the very fast crouch dash one. So that is that, and then he has options also. I'll teach you soon about the ability to um, basically crouch dash and cancel into a while rising move so that is an example of a while rising 4 from crouch dash and you can also do while rising 2 which is a launch as you can see just as so now the best launch though regardless of all of that and the move that you must know how to do if you want to master Dragonov is the ability to do not only the running 2 not only the running 2 which is just like this you need to be able to do an instant running to. So you need to be able to do it from any any uh, place, anywhere in the stage, and you should just be constantly be able to just do this fast, clean, and whenever you feel like it. You need to be doing it from point blank and etc. Now, the key to be doing instant while running moves is is a very difficult move to master, and of course, it, everyone can tell you, you just do the three forwards fast and thing but to actually do it I'm going to be going over because I know a lot of fans are asking about how to do it I'm going to go over in a separate video soon how to do every single while running move in the game and that goes from while running 2 to uh, the instant shining wizard from king and etc etc and I'll go through every single option so subscribe guys and stay tuned for that video because that'll be coming up very soon and I know it will help a lot of you to up your game but yeah knowing how to do instant uh, while rising to uh, while running to sorry is very very important for pressure purposes and for getting the count hit so if I show you um, pressure purposes first this is why it's so good on pressure look at the way that it it's blocked look at the way Brian moves straight away after being hit from it he moves so far across the screen you're able to carry on and do exactly what you want afterwards so it's very important in that sense. 
Now, in terms of combo potential, this is why it's really important. On counter hit, it gives you one of the most damaging combos and the most useful combos in um, the game. So, this is why it's really important to be able to master this move. So, oh, okay. As you can see, you can combo straight from there. Now, there are a number of options from the getting this counter hit, and I'll go through them now. So you saw two options there. One I showed you basically you do the while uh, while running instant while running two and then from there you crouch dash and cancel the crouch dash by pressing down. As you can see from the notation you press down to cancel it and then you immediately press uh, four which does the um, while rising four which picks them up and then from there you can do a jab and then you can do any of uh, Dragonov's three. Uh, main corkscrews which are as you've been seeing me do back one two nice uh, easy uh, corkscrew is punishable and then you have a safer one which is back four three jails on hit as well so you can't actually be ducked if hit the first move hits so keep that in mind and is a natural combo also when hit as well and wall splats perfect move and tracks as well as well so really good and then he also has holding forward three two so this also caught screws so good move to, good moves to be using uh, when you get that launch so I would normally say that the running to is his one of a uh, dragon super key move being able to do that instant running to is really really essential because just how strong that move is but he's got another move in particular which is also just as essential it's basically a move you're going to see a lot of Dragunov players use a lot online and basically spam it out because it's just so, so good and so powerful. And that is the down two, as you can see. Now, how am I spamming it out like that? What you need to be able to do with instant uh, twos over and over again is once you do the first down two, you need to press up. So it gives a quick side step and then you do down two. So you got to do that super fast and then it looks as if you're just doing it over and over again. And that is what you see Nobi doing. Uh, particularly well uh, in competitive gameplay now on top of having cr great pressure what this move also does on count hit um, on not count hit on hit it gives you great plus frames now these plus frames allow you to go straight into mix-ups you can either just go straight into the the low again or you can go into the mid as you can see so the wall rising four mid now other options from there is if you're at the wall Obviously, you can go straight into down two into one plus two, or sorry, that was two that gives you a launch, or you can go down two into one plus two, which gives you a combo straight away, a wall combo. So use that as you will as well. But down two, name of the game is it gives you a crouching position as he does, as you can see, and crushes so many moves, and it's got good range as well. So use that wisely. Instant while running two and down two perfect moves for Dragonov, his key moves. Now move it on, we got to look at into Dragonov's uh, lows, that other than of course the down two. He also has as we know, um, and if people get used to that down two, what you can do is you can crouch dash into down forward three. Now this is a move of great range, linear but great range and very very safe as well. Now on top of that he also has a down 4, so a down 4-4, four, four. so down 4-4-4 four, four, four is, a, down four, four is a, the string, so it's a, it's a low into a high which is not great, on counter hit it gives you the full combo, but um, generally so that down 4 is also a quick low to just finish, not the most damaging but just an unexpected low, quick, and if you do think they're going to attack or uh, duck a block and then attack, it has the extension of uh, down four, back one. So down four, back one is the extension which will catch them out if they are going to block and then attack. So many players do try to then low parry it really. It is the safest option to punish it. Um, further from that, he also has a crouch dash slide, sliding three, which is goes like this. This is a really fast, odd low. Can be punished quite badly. But because how fast it is, how much range it has as well, 
and especially if you're, if you're moving about a lot and then you just suddenly just go into that uh, you'll see Nobi do that a lot and it's effective so it's not bad especially on counter hit it also has some damaging um, extensions as you can see counter hit damage um, further to that it also has his own snake edge which I mean as I've said snake edges are not what you should be trying to be using and what you should be using with uh, Dragunov at the higher levels especially when he has such useful down twos like I said but obviously he has this um, on counter it gives you more damage but mainly what you do for this is you can get a full combo from this so you go here you do down two and then you go so as so as you saw there so you do the down forward down back three uh, down two wall rising four and then jab and then back two one or any of the other corkscrews the cre three corkscrews I told you about and then I finish it with a uh, instant while running too now the reason why I'm finishing for instant while running too because when you get that instant while rising too so if I show you again a specific combo uh, as you can see it pushes their head forward to you now from there you can quickly go into pressure doing down two which more or less is always gonna hit and you can get extra damage so the actual combo may not be the most damaging but the combo you can the damage you can get after that which is um unscaled and is part of the oki will add up to even more damage than a regular combo so i like to use that and allows me to carry on pressure and just carry on the game the flow of the game and keep this the weight of the game in my position rather than let them get up and sort of uh, get back into the flow of the game for themselves and um, sort of unfluster themselves so I like to do that to just remain keep them under pressure what you see Nobi do is he likes to use uh, Dragnov's wall carry game now I can't really do that because it's very advanced but what he does is once he gets the course screw he then transitions into this move which is forward three as you can see now forward three if you press forward three and then press down forward you transition into a crouch as you can see there what he does is he does that and then transitions and then immediately presses up now this cancels the crouch dash and then what you can do there is you can extend the combo and wall carry by pressing 4-1 and he's able to wall carry them to the wall and then get the wall damage that he would like so that's what he does for extreme damage but that's a very high level technique that you'll need to learn if you do find yourself in sort of the orange ranks or the red ranks eventually but for the beginners and for getting up to that ranks in the beginning definitely you don't need that and just getting good oki is also always going to be a good option for you and now we need to talk about some of uh, Dragonov's tracking moves so I've shown you obviously I showed you back four uh, three this is a good tracking move Jails on here and it's very fast and good at the wall because it wall spats and etc. But another good tracking move, good tracking moves that he has. Also, another, funny enough, another corkscrew is obviously his back one two. This uh, tracks on both sides. Great move to be using. Down two also tracks to some extent to um, Dragonov's uh, left side, so keep that in mind as well. And some a bit to the right side. He also has this extension which to uh, the 4, so that is 4-4. Four, four. That extends really well and tracks as well. As you can see, it's a, it's a um, sort of spinning ending attack, so it obviously it tracks well. And counter hit gives you a full combo as well, so keep that in mind. Um, I'll just show you that quickly. So this is a good move for our... Um, in sort of good range because if they do get interrupted it is straight into combo you can do anything you want uh, other tracking moves key one is his very fast uh, 15 frame back three now not only does this track it also on hit gives you plus frames to just carry on as you please now that brings me on to uh, Dragonal Strings you saw at the end this string which is 2 1 uh, 2 1 4 
so that goes straight to two highs into low so both all of that can be ducked but uh if you do catch them up there and you catch you can catch them basically and trick them by only doing two one for the entire match and then suddenly going for the three similarly you can also do two one for the whole match and then go straight in for the final uh, three so this is two one four and this is 213. 213 at the wall is particularly useful as it not only is it super damaging, it will wall splat as well. So use that wisely. They can also be delayed as well. So nice delaying move of Dragonov as you can see here. So that is normal speed. If you delay it, you can delay it quite a bit and you can catch a lot of people out like that. Another good move actually to be using a nice string, short string that you can use at the wall that also delays is his down forward one into four so that is look how damaging that is just doing that over and over again but yeah um, at the wall this is the normal speed you can delay this ridiculously to catch a lot of people out and likes like this so you can delay it just as so and so forth uh, other strings include uh, Another notable string, so he has one, one, four, uh, no, sorry, three, one, two. This two can be delayed, the last hit. So a decent amount as well, but it is very punishable, so keep that in mind. Typically, that is used a lot at the end of combos to extend the combo to the wall. So I can show you one example here. So as you saw there, extreme damage, using that at the end. So getting the corkscrew and then doing the 1-4 to push them to the wall and then finishing off with the nice wall combo. Uh, other strings he has, she has, um, no sorry, he has, is of course he has forward 3-3-4. Three, three, this is a terrible string to be just using out in open field because it's all high and can be ducked. So typically this is used in the middle of combos as so. So yeah, another use, use it in the start of a combo, obviously you can extend that to be more damaging but as you can see, just using that in the middle of the combo as an intermediate attack gives you extreme extreme damage, so use it wisely, definitely a good combo filler. Uh, other strings he has including his punches, definitely the most notable is um, down back 1-2-1 one, one string. Now why is this useful? Because the final hit can be delayed and on counter hit, it gives you uh, a combo. So here's how it's done. And delayed for combo. And from there, you can then do the regular sort of combo technique. So. And yeah, as you can, you just combo from there basically. Now, the final key moves I want to talk about are basically. This move, which is down back, uh, sorry, back one plus two. This is a good move for giving you plus frames on block. So on block, great plus frames. Very similar to instant wall running two, almost similar. So good plus frames, and on hit, as you can see, wait, it gives you a guaranteed down one plus, down three plus four, which is really, really strong damage. So you go. Back 1 plus 2 into 3 plus 4, uh, down 3 plus 4, and you get that extreme damage. On top of that, other key moves include. So, as I, I told you about um, down 2, well, what's the mix up here? Not only could you mix up with that, but you could go straight into this, which is up forward 4. Up forward 4 is great because. Um, not only is it very damaging in itself and is a similar animation to this because you could really just imagine tricking people with this doing three times in a row and then going straight into that you would definitely catch some people out now it's really good because it has an extension of uh, down four down four three yeah down four three and that is the extension from it so if I show you just easy, easy combo, easy combo extender. It gives you 49 damage. There's a lot of damage for just mistake, making a mistake on the mix-up. 
and things I want to go through also is of course it's very odd to talk about this but everyone's it's a really key to uh, Dragonlance game is his, uh, his 1 plus 2 grab hard to see hard to grab because it is done by a 1 plus 2 uh, notation you have to uh, sorry not one, yeah, 1 plus 2 notation but also forward forward 1 plus 2 notation so it's almost like they can just be running up into your face and then go straight into it good move to be using when you do this which is back 2 back 2 gives you some plus frames on hit and because people are uh, expecting for their extension usually so this extension back 2 1 they are actually gonna st usually stop when you do the the back two because they're expecting you to do something else and don't want to get hit so when you hit, when you do that Dragonov is actually able to be in a crouching stance now in this crouching stance he's able to do all these wall rising moves so here he's able to do wall rising four or he can go straight into one plus two but key to this is what people seem to be doing instead of that mix-up they go even one step on the mix-up and they go right into the grab there's no way to avoid it. You can't hop kick out of it. If once you've been hit by this, you have to just deal with it. You have to deal with the grab, the grab mix up. So another key move from Dragonov. Another key grab mix up is his down back one plus two, which you can either do. So that was pressing one after getting it. Here is pressing two, or you can go for the iron curtain, which is um, one plus two. So let me just quickly do that. So that is the one plus two, the most damaging of the three mix-ups. Now I was talking mainly about um, the instant while running two. Now if you're not that great and you do mess up instant while running two, you will uh, get this instead, most probably. Now this is not the worst option because this high goes straight into a mid mix uh, mid uh, extension which is so it's forward two four forward two four and that four not only is it very damaging it can again be delayed now at the wall as you can see it wall splats but um on counter here So as you saw there, on counter hit, it gives you a combo. It's a combo starter, and you'll be able to get a full combo on counter hit. Because I mean, it's very odd to get it, but if you if you like throwing this out of range, just tricking people, thinking that you're not going to finish the string, and then you just go bang like that, you will get a nice combo start starter. So another option from Dragonov. Now I feel like I've gone through basically everything you need to know now from Dragonov. The key moves, the key concepts, and the key tactics. Of course there's other things you need to learn so the ability to, to use um, uh, this move this back uh, back uh, sort of what it's like a I can't really describe it it's a move where it just sort of dodges moves and then goes uh, comes back around it's really unsafe to be honest and you should only really be using it if you know exactly how to use it that comes with exper experimentation but yeah that is the the notation for that is basically just a quarter circle forward backwards uh, two. But yeah, everything else I feel like I've gone through and definitely the key concepts and key strategy and key moves have been gone through in this tutorial. And I feel like you could definitely go into green ranks and yellow ranks now and do the business. As I will be going to green ranks and yellow ranks and I will, I'm pretty confident I'll be able to do really well with Dragonov and I'll be posting up a gameplay soon. So stay subscribed for that to see that as well. But yeah, now we're going to move on to stage two of the tutorial. Where we'll be handing over to Nobu and we'll be watching him in a very high level gameplay. And we will see him put into practice absolutely everything we've gone through today in a very high level and competitive environment. So let's go straight into that and see how to use Dragonov effectively. All right, let's go. All right, guys. So here we are on the Call Me Arge main channel homepage. 8,000 and almost 100 subs strong now so if you ain't joined the army yet make sure you hit, hit subscribe now but yeah if you didn't know already i am the number one content collector of tekken 7 high level gameplay so before the game was out i literally had every single uh character every single gameplay from korea japan the usa and so forth 
being posted on my channel and given to me straight from Namco and Green Tekken. And what I would do is I'd post these gameplays out of the highest gameplay, um, like highest level of gameplay I could find. And then what I did was I arranged it all into separate playlists. Now in these playlists I had every single character sorted and collated together so for their own separate um, games. And I even did it for character for players as well. So there's the Nobi players and Nii players and JDCR players and so forth. So the objective of this was for anyone who wanted to learn their character, they can go to my channel, they can go and click on this playlist for their character and watch some high level gameplay and show and see exactly how to use their character and improve themselves in the process. So in that way, I feel like I've I'm hoping to increase the overall ability of uh, everyone in Tekken. So for example, if you want to learn how to Kuma, you just go into a Kuma playlist. If you want to learn how to play Bob, you go into a Bob playlist. And today we're going to be going over Dragonov. So let's look at the Dragonov playlist. And let's find a game worthy of being shown. So, alright, let's just look at this Nobi Dragonov gameplay. Right, so he's playing a harangue. This is in Japan. Nice. See, so he's gone straight for that what, uh, instant running two, which went into straight combo. He got counter hit as well. It, usually, you get a lot of counter hits with that, that running two because it has just so much more, um, so much more priority than other moves. So that was a really easy round for Nobi there. Okay, going for that down two, punishable but not really that strong. Karang just using the basically the wall rising uh, four there for it. Okay, tried to do the snake edge there, got got blocked but not punished perfectly. Nice, he got caught by Harang's uh, tracking move straight into combo. What's Nobi gonna do now to change it up? Okay, doing the tracking move, caught again. Okay, doing the, the, the same safe uh, back 4 plus 3. Really safe tracking as well, so he can't dodge at all. He can't sidestep. He has to deal with it. Jails as well on hit, so he couldn't duck the second hit. Okay, he went for the 1 plus 2 grab and it was broken. Okay, nice with punish. Does the generic uh, down forward 2. As you can see there, he does the forward 4-4-3, three, three, four, 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 three, sorry. Good uh, combo filler, really damaging. Punishing there with the 1-4 and then keeps on the pressure by doing the instant while running 2. Gets a counter hit there, that is just the 1-2-1 one, one string. Very nice string. Just Nobi showing some combos there, let's see what happens in the second match. Okay, starting immediately with that 1-4. Okay, 4-1, good 12 frame, interrupter. Putting on that pressure, putting the game back in his possession by doing that instant one running two again and again, and then does, goes for the grab as well. Goes for the back four three again for tracking. Okay, that harangue sidesteps a bit and catches him on counter hurt. Okay, see he gets he gets caught by um, the armor move, so then tries to extend the one four. Um, the 1-3, sorry, uh, punish, which can be extended into the 10 hit string. Okay, nice, Use, keeping that pressure, doing those one, those down twos, keeping that pressure, mixing up with mids, perfect way of using Dragon Ball. And finishes off with that quarter circle forward, crouch dash, uh, three sliding attack, really fast, really unpredictable. Going for the 1 plus 2 grab again, but misses it. Again, keeping the pressure up. A look at those two instant running twos. Fantastic way to use Dragonov and keep the pressure up. Okay, goes for the snake edge and gets it. Nice combo. Whoa, whoa, weird, weird wall combo there. Never seen that before. But just goes to show, literally, this game is ever changing. You can do anything you want. Getting pressure there by doing the back one plus two. Okay, dodges the wall rising one two gets caught out 
How is Nobi going to come back from this? Is he going to come back? Let's see. Okay. Backdashing, giving him pressure, giving him um, respect now. Again, doing the same combo of that instant, um, not that instant, sorry, the generic down forward two. Instant while while running two for pressure again, again and again. He is so good at it, and then doing the back one plus two again for pressure, tracking him by doing the back three plus four. This harangue doing a good, uh, doing a good job of coming back. Okay, nice punish, nice 12 frame punish with, no, 10 frame punish with that one free. Like I said, it's the most powerful punish of Dragunov's, powerful 10 frame punish that is. Using that forward, 3-3-4 three, three, again. Okay, see there he tried to do the uh, core circle back. Two, like I said, but again, you need to be really certain that's going to work because it is very punishable as you can see. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Low parry, straight into the course route and then into the rage drive to finish it, which spikes him onto a floor for extra damage. You could get a down, three plus four, but obviously Nobi had already won by then, so no need to get that extra damage. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a lot of how, not only how to use uh, Dragunov in a basic and intermediate level, but then also now how to use Dragunov in the highest of high levels with Nobi teaching you exactly how to do it. Now, if you do need any more help on how to use Dragunov, you have an entire playlist here from Dragunov. You also have a Nobi playlist that I have on my channel. So click subscribe, go through my videos and watch all of these incredible players, all of these incredible Dragunov players and learn how to use them. So we've got JDC Ahar, Kakoma, we've got Ni, we've got everyone. So have a look and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Cheers. Cat like a semi, niggas